All right, so originally I was going to make a video reviewing the villain's design, but there's I realized there's a lot of Spider-Man villains that at least make an appearance in that game, so I'm just going to do the normal costume, okay? So, basically to start it off, I like the white logo. I like the idea of white being added to Spider-Man's costume. I mean, one of my favorite costumes today is just the Far From Home black suit. I, that's not even a movie yet. That movie's probably going to come out, like, maybe late this year. You know, that movie's going to come out for a while. That, it already has one of my favorite live-action suits in general. <coughs> and, you know, and basically, so, what I think is the big problem with the logo altogether, because we're suddenly in the logo part now is that it's sort of large and big, and I think I remember the notes they saying it's, like, plastic of sorts, which is weird. I don't. I never liked when Spider-Man had an enormous logo that just spanned across his entire chest. I get I get when you make the logos too small, it looks kind of weird in just too much empty space. I mean, my favorite versions of Batman, you know, they have big logos, because it naturally takes up space, it brings out, you know, it brings out more of Batman type of quality, but this, you know, the white logo being all over, I don't think Spider-Man should have that. And so pointy. I never liked it when Spider-Man's logo was pointy to, like, an extent. Like, my designs, you know, they're they're a little pointy, but they're not, like, sharp edge. You know, it's a little sort of square hexagonal based, to say. But, but that spider, that's the spider that looks like it's gonna kill me on uh, PS4's chest right there. I like the kind of, um, but I like how they use the blue in it. A lot of things I think is challenging for a lot of versions of Spider-Man redesign, especially one of my favorites, the Amazing Spider-Man 1 design, is that they never really get a good balance between red and blue. If you're going to have contrasting colors, there needs to be a balance in between it. You can't just slop them together and see what works, you know? Um, and I think they handle it really well, you know, the nice connection between all... I'm amazed, because it actually is more predominantly blue, but it looks more balanced. And I think that's because the white spider makes the red seem more poppy. Um, I do think the shade of red's a little weird. Um, looks a little orangey, as some people have said, but I just think it looks a little too bright. Um, I think the white and the feet look a little weird and kind. And, uh, per I'm looking at a picture right now of a head-on shot, so I can't really reveal anything in the back. But, you know, I'm recording this on the uh, 24th, so, uh, see ya.